Hello and welcome everyone to your Clairvoyant Alchemy reading for September 26th for my Pisces friends. Yes, I just delivered the Scorpio reading and we've had, and Scorpio's trump card is the death card, all about transformation in the death card. Major Arcana came through for the earth signs as well, so... That's kind of being the theme now, how we're going to really change into um, a spiritual awareness, you know, to see what we can focus on. And my Pisces friends, you know, you're the most psychic of the group as well. I mean, well, all the water signs are, you know, we're the emotional ones, so we, we go into our deep within emotions. But honestly, uh, Pisces, pretty much very psychic. And you have the abilities. Uh, and then, of course, working with Luna, our trump card is the moon that, you know, I adore. And we also have planet Neptune that rules us. And actually, the sign of Pisces will be in planet Neptune until 2025. So it's kind of be kind of smart if you want to read more about planet Neptune. Because um, it's a sensitive planet as... Pisces are sensitive and emotional, but it's like we're building with our own planet till 2025, so we should really awaken to what the potentials are in in working with our own planet, uh, which can bring us glamour, and sometimes, you know, glamour, like when we watch these Hollywood things, can bring illusions, so... Uh, and the trump card for Neptune is the hangman, Major Arcana 12 hangman. And, and you know, that's like definitely going within. And I think Pisces sometimes do the best going within. You know, you, you come out a flower, a blossoming like a lotus flower. You really do. You know, like a lotus flower from the mud. It comes out this beautiful flower, you know, from the mud-filled waters. So, okay, but I am enjoying September so far. But it is, you know, with all these eclipses we're having, it it's since August 18th that Aquarius lunar eclipse. Then, right, just last week, just had the September one new moon in Virgo. Okay, solar eclipse. Then September 16th, we're gonna have a full moon in our sign Pisces. Okay, a lunar eclipse. And uh, for those of you new to me, uh, my sun sign is in Pisces, so I'm looking forward to that. And my moon was in Virgo. And then on October 1st, October 1st, uh, there's going to be in Libra the new moon uh, in Libra. So it's it's just magical times. We need to balance and and align with good partnerships and align with the divine. That's big been very huge and then healing and nurturing your inner child okay uh, that's the best way that we can really represent where we want to go to because these readings are about becoming our spiritual awakening to spiritualness and the respect that we understand there's a higher realm and we want to tap it okay so let's see, Pisces, what happens for us today for the September. And I've been talking about on 9-9 how um, the giant uh, Jupiter planet is going into the sign of Libra for 10 months. On 9-9-2016 starts it and on 10-10-2017 ends it. So how glorious for us to really, we and with these eclipses, it gives us, energies to harness for at least three months and these are positive portals from the cosmic realm just as well you know letting us know we'll work with you when you believe in you and you align so i really think this whole next year is going to be for those of us who are really going to release the past and look forward to you know a wisdom within us that we know is spiritual aligned and you can harness the ones you love you know I brought my beautiful one Yamaya out via the Orisha she's all about the water feminine receptive the moon she's queen of the oceans uh, via the Orishas 
you know, that work with your beautiful ones, whoever they are. They want us to work with them, no doubt about it. Okay. All right, my Pisces friends. So I'm looking forward to our reading, no doubt. Okay. And thank you all to my new viewers and subscribers. And also, you know, I'm wishing everyone the best. I I think this next year is gonna flourish in a in a beautiful supernatural spiritual way for many for many okay let me take a moment here and uh let me take an exhale out strong i take a deep breath in and hold it Today I'm working with um, the Rider Tarot deck, and the Magician also came through for Scorpio. So the Magician came through their own trump card, the Death card, and for them as a water sign, in case you have Scorpio in your charts, Pisces, or you know a loved one of yours, it's really to now go within psychically as the water signs can do more better than the rest of the zodiac signs, and start tapping become that alchemist within become that magician within that high priestess especially cancer ruled by the moon so for my cancer friends watching this Pisces, in case you know you have every other sign water signs in your charts i can't wait to read you cancer because luna's talking to you for sure and for pisces And this is the uh, mermaids and dolphins deck I chose to bring out as well. Okay, so the oracle. And I am going to close with Archangel Michael for everyone for this month of September. So we'll see how we um, how this reading comes out for us. But definitely it's going within again. Taking that half hour a day or as long as you can to just turn the technology off and really ask, you know, Great Spirit or Divine, Higher Will, whatever you want to call it, to talk to you. Send me the messages. Okay, Eight of Wands is here. Eight of Fire. And you know how I feel about the Eights, right? That's about success and that you're being in a power stance. Power and success comes through. Okay? So you can really accomplish any task you want to now. And this is also means that it's, it's moving fast. Like, whatever you put your mind to and it, it aligns with what, you know, spirit says, yes, this is part of your purpose for being here it'll it'll start kicking in and moving fast now this card has also come through for the month of september already i think it came through it, obviously for the earth signs or maybe the monthly read because i can remember this distant little house here okay like you know that's your abode your castle you're building on a on a hillside so you have the nice view of the water Okay, so don't give up on you, okay? Do not give up on you because it's it's about having that mental power, okay? Having, believing in you, believing on where your thoughts, your psychic thoughts, let's say it like that, okay? Because you're aligning with spirit and so the psychic thoughts are saying this is where you should be heading towards or this is your direction, which came out beautiful for Scorpio as well, a new bountiful direction as long as they you know because the death card came out twice back to back so it's like you know you have to do that death rebirth you have to transformate transmute and for you pisces we open with moving fast okay moving fast to accomplish what we want and and, and with fire you know it can also mean that um 
you know, obviously spirits in the house. But we, we just got to, how you say, psychically. So thinking with our mind. So mentally, we can say, but the third eye, pay attention. They want to talk to you. Wow, this card has come through already for September as well. And we were talking about this card, the rest card. This is the um, Four of Swords, where the swords are the, is the air element, that masculine active, okay? And this is about us having a clear conscience to try to tap the spirit realm. Now, this is a warrior, a knight who's, you know, come back from, alive from battle, but now he's going within to, to decide what's the next um, position to take. Okay, and fours, I speak about that because it's about that stability, you know, how the pyramids were built on four, the square, and then up to tap the spirit. It's something like that. Like, we should think like we're pyramids. We stand, even though we only have two legs, that we stand firmly grounded, and then we make sure that our third eye is looking up to the sky, and then let the information from the universe come into our crown, okay? Our top of our head. All right, so you know this is the this will be the fifth reading I'm doing for September. A hurricane came through Florida, so I was kind of shut down for a couple days there. But you can see it's sunny again. That's how it works out here. But these same two cards have come out. So let's let's continue because there's honestly a message that things will be moving fast, but you have to kind of you know, take the time to hear them, okay, mentally, you know, even, even if it's just resting, but you want to meditate and get the thoughts in your brain from the higher realm, from fire spirit, awakening, wow, how wonderful, wow, how wonderful, and just speaking of planet Neptune for us, my darlings, my Pisces friends, this is uh, Planet Neptune's trump card. The hangman. Look at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself! Exclamation mark. There you are. It's important to be yourself, my darlings. You know, the hangman is all about spirituality. I brought it up before in case you're new or old to my channel. You know, Odin, I love reading the runes, and Odin literally was hanging from a tree to scribe the runes, okay? And that's when you have to go within. We've been talking, we just said it, we got to go within. It's like, it's like you have to self-sacrifice yourself. Now, if you want to spiritually align, it, it's like you have to say, yes, I'm, I'm going to hang from this tree, you know, metaphor, I'm going to hang from this tree, and I'm going to believe, I'm, I'm going to embrace my Pisces self, and I'm going to align with Neptune, and for 2025, planet Neptune's with our sign, so imagine how cool this is, that you can really put out there what you want to see, especially this next year, foundation work, and, and then to come, and here we have it. We have a trump card from our planet that can help us so much, that does. You know, King Poseidon, King Neptune holds his trident. You know, I might want to get a trident now. <laughs> but this is wonderful, okay? You know, imagine where you want to be. With these eclipses, that's the coolest thing. There's power. These are gifts from the gods. Portals to open up your imagination. To align with them, it's all very, very positive. Planet uh, Jupiter opening up its doors to us in Libra. Partnerships, romance can be. It's people working together. So there's so much beauty to come. And it is important to be yourself, okay? Be that psychic that you are, Pisces. You know? It's about the cult, too, with Luna in the house. And it was just coming out for Scorpio, too. Some of the stuff you want to do secretive, you know, like magicians and priestesses, they do all that within. 
okay? And that's what gives them the knowledge because they're not just showing off and sharing with others. Now, there's nothing wrong with teaching to others, but it's more like if you feel something coming towards you, then you keep that to yourself, okay? Don't self-deceive yourself that others care because when you go into spiritual realm, you know, not, not everybody's psychic and not everybody's open-minded and not everybody gets, gets even what psychics do. I mean, we have these new medium shows, which I'm so grateful to see. I really, really am. But you see how skeptical everybody is and how like, eh, <laughs> right? And these are power people. I've been watching that little uh, Tyler Henry out of uh, the Hollywood. And he's magical. And nobody believes them, but they want to believe. But you, Pisces, are psychic. So believe in you. Okay? Believe in you. Look at this nine of earth. Enjoying life's little luxuries. Spending quiet time alone. Successful self-employment. Look at that. Spending quiet time alone. Okay? The nines are about those endings and completions. But there's success coming for you, Pisces. Success with work, success with your imagination leads you maybe to a different kind of work. You know, you, you really want to get out and tap that imagination. Okay. You know, and do it in a secretive way. You don't have to tell everybody what you're doing in the respect of. You know, sometimes when you let people know, oh, this is my dream, even though they might not say it to your face, they go away and start dissing you because you have a dream you know like Martha Luther King Martha Luther King had a dream and then look what they did they beyond distant a beautiful soul so just be cautious this is not particularly a you know a loving planet with the people on it so but we can make it a loving planet I believe the Pisces people can if anybody can. I believe the water signs can. I believe all the zodiac signs can. But I believe because the water signs are so deep and emotional. The Queen of Cups already has come through for September. You know, she's all about love, family, birthing, you know, Venus power. She's, you know, that Queen of Cups no doubt becomes the Empress as well. Because he get out on Earth, get grounded. Go on walks, go on nature walks by yourself, go swimming in the ocean or river if you can. Take a sea salt bath and contemplate. Literally, we have this open portals going on. These eclipses give us energies for three months and then now. I just can't explain it. You know, like I'm not an astrologer, I'm not an astronomer. And I just can feel things, I harness energies, and I truly believe. Something magical can happen to all of us if we walk with spirit and believe in yourself first. Believe in yourself first. Love you first. You know, as you align with the divine, they'll witness you changing. They'll witness you transforming. And then what you've been wishing for, the dreams will come true. And so look up. Look up to Luna, Pisces friends. Look up to the stars. Look up towards the sky and feel the warmth of our own sun star. I really think that the universe will give us gifts if we love back the universe. You know, we're not taking or bombing or doing whatever these governments do. Oh, God, I don't even know why I go there. Twin flame union, the pairing. What is this one? The blue whale. You will achieve your dreams through innovative solutions. Look at that. I don't even remember why I wrote this. Twin flame union, the pairing. Okay, well, here we have the blue whale. You know what? We had the hump whale come through, too. And he's one of the largest uh, whales on the planet, largest mammals of the planet. But I think now that I'm seeing this blue whale, this is the largest. And you got it, Pisces. You will achieve your dreams through innovative solutions. There you go. And a twin pairing, like 
you know, like someone can come into your life that recognizes your potential and says, I want to work with you. And then it's a twin flame. Like, you know, that's about soulmate connection, soulmate love. Okay, let's stand this strong and we'll have to read some more. But look at that blue whale coming out for us Pisces, huh? Beautiful. That's a master. And I've been suggesting to everyone as well, uh, we had the eagle and the raven come out for the earth signs. And I suggested, you know, when you see animals or whatever, or these animals come out for you, you read more about them, Google them, totem animal wisdom. The spider woman came as well. Uh, so but now we have blue whale. So I personally don't know the totem animal of this wisdom, except it's, it's a gigantic, beautiful creature of the sea. But you will achieve your dreams through innovative solutions. Innovative. So let's say if you, you pray to spirit, and then spirit brings your dreams to come true as you look upon those stars and moon. Wouldn't that be fabulous? The three rhyme maidens. Love is a virtue that endures eternally. Well, that's lovely. I don't think I've ever picked this card, actually. I don't recall. But hold on. Let, let, let's just go to this card first because let's see if I wrote in the book. If I wrote in the book, then I've read it before. But the three rhyme maidens. Now, let's think about this, Pisces. Okay, three. So, Pisces, you know, we're. We're the third zodiac sign in, right? Aren't we? Isn't that what we are? I mean, we're the 12th house, but January, February, March. Pisces folk, right? Okay, let's read about because love, it says the word love right there. Love is a virtue. So let's see what it has to say. Because I I've had this deck a while. I don't use it a lot on the YouTube. Okay. Oh my lord, the last time I read about this was in 2010. Okay, so six years ago. Okay, the Rhine Maidens. Love is a virtue that endures eternally. Isn't that lovely? Love. Love is love, right, my darling? As it goes around, it makes the world go round. And the key word is return. A phase of your life will come around full circle. Three Rhine Maidens who symbolize that love is all redeeming. Predict that a love which you have previously renounced will return and you will be granted your heart's desire. Only by forsaking love will whoever turns the maiden's river gold into a ring become master of the world. The lust for power and greed for wealth destroys love. There you go. The lust for power and greed for wealth. So we don't want to go in that world, my darlings. There's no reason why, you know, you can't make money, but embrace love. As love prevails, it destroys the power and wealth of all who are only seeking gold. To marry for wealth where there is no love will not succeed. True gold is esoteric knowledge. It is love that always triumphs in the end. Okay, it is love that always triumphs in the end. And you see they've got their little treasure chest, but, and there's a ring there. But gold is esoteric. And, and you know, that's what spirituality is about. It's that esoteric metaphysics sense that you understand earth, air, fire, water. You understand the spirit. You know, you already get the basics. And now you're going to implement that psychic awareness ability of yours to um, bring it through. Okay, bring it through. So let me see this. Let me pick Archangel Mike. I won't turn it over yet. But things are moving fast here. Okay. And we need to take a meditative rest. And that's why we are encouraging everyone a daily half hour now. You know, personally myself, I don't turn on uh, the TV. You know, I might have music on the YouTube or something like that. Soft, quiet, you know. I like the ocean sound, but I don't really turn anything on until 
moon. So this is your life's purpose. Archangel Michael, you know, I wasn't going to read it, but I just kept talking. Archangel Michael, you know the details of my divine life purpose. And I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide my actions so that I am taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career. Well, how fabulous is this, my darlings? Archangel Michael. See, Pisces, we do have a life purpose, and it is in the occult psychic way. You know, because I ask myself a lot, you know, am I doing the right thing, doing what I'm doing? Because I do have a lot of people who hate on me, you know, how I've changed. That's okay. I will, you know, you know, you know we're born this way, right? You know when you're born this way, but society says, oh, no, you can't do that. And then we do it anyway. And it is through, you know, challenges that we become our creative souls, no doubt. There's no free ride, my darlings, but sometimes we can get a free ride, okay? When spirit says, I'm bringing you your free ride. Look at this, freedom. <laughs> Our free ride will be freedom. Wonderful. Freedom from great spirit. To, to take those shackles off when you know who you are, but somebody or, you know, the others don't believe. That's all right. Believe in you. Love you first. And share freedom. The blue whale, the largest animal that has ever lived, predicts a momentous event in on the horizon. A momentous event is on the horizon. Okay, well, let's let's consider this. And I, again, I apologize. I'm not sure why I wrote what I wrote here on the side. What occurs will set you free to move in the wide world or occupy the main ocean. Faith, fidelity, Chastity and loyalty are symbolized by its color. You will speedily overcome any obstacles in the way of a plan you have high hopes for. See, plan, plan ahead. Neptune with us, 2025. We have open channels, Libra and Jupiter. These eclipses right now take us through the end of 2016, 2017, open. Open for about Pisces, friends. We're open till 2025 with, I mean, with our planet joining us, ruling planet Neptune and all these other cosmic realms. So align with the divine, my psychic friends, Pisces. You are about the occult. You are about the secretive. You are the priestess. You are the magician. Become that alchemist within. Faith, fidelity, chastity, and loyalty are symbolized by its color. You will speedily overcome any obstacles in the way of a plan you have high hopes for. Assured of success, your fears are unfounded. The sunny shores of safety, peace of mind, and contentment, which are well-deserved, will greet you. But only if you get in the swim. And we were just saying that for water friend Scorpio. We got, you know, we want to fly and flow. You know, like... Your mind, you want to fly high with your thoughts, your ambitions, your goals, thinking. But emotionally, you want to flow with the currents of spirit, okay? Let them deliver us what we seek without, you know, forward pushing, you know. You know like you can't take a, a circle, you know, or a, a globe round ball and put it in a square, you know. It, it doesn't fit. You can't put the square in. So, you know, let it flow. Okay. Let it flow. Okay. Feeding in the cold waters before migrating to warm seas to give birth signifies that preparing the way leads to fruitfulness. Great treasures await you. Oh, my Pisces friends. See? And giving birth, and that's... And in case you have Scorpio in your sign as another water sign, you know, that they're all about that birth and rebirth, and that came through for them as well. But how glorious to see great treasures await us. Okay, taking baby steps. 
We can talk about that too. You know, you can't fight the currents. You gotta go with the flow. And then when we're on land, you take little baby steps day by day. Write in your journals. Write what you'd like to see for 2017. Write what you'd like to be doing by 2025. You know, you see I write things and then, you know, it's amazing to me how things really have been delivered. Twin flame union, the pairing. So there could be someone there too coming for you who believes in you. Okay? All right. That soulmate connection. That love factor. Because it's sent from the heavens. No doubt about it. It's not a match.com thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I gotta go to this major arcana card here. All right. Let, let's bring this out because since this is the trump card for Neptune, and really, we all can go within, especially our psychic friends, Scorpio, Pisces, and um, Cancer. Because literally, we are the ones who can intuit many things. All right. So believe in you, okay? Just believe in what you can perform, Pisces. I believe in you. And yet sometimes our ego says, no, I don't want to do that. I know because I'm one of them. But, but when you finally listen to the messages, and even though you might not get it today or you didn't get it yesterday, look at what these portals, these eclipses, all this is happening for us. Um, they want us to join their ride. Awakening. It's time to review your plans according to this card and look at things from a new perspective. Ask yourself, is it possible that a different approach would work better? Although it may feel like events have come to a standstill, this is temporary. So make use of the extra time you've been given to rethink your strategies. And that's when, you know, you go within and, and you have your little journal. This is what came through and I need to respond, okay? So take your time. It's all about baby steps, okay? And we think, even though we're water signs with deep emotions, sometimes we, we react more than we think before, you know, my water friends. So we get all emotion. You know, I, I sometimes cry on my damn own videos, okay? But I'm not thinking, I'm just feeling from my emotions. But yet, when we're we're wanting to move forward to the future, we really want to lay out a game plan, you know, for ourselves, our family, whatever, whoever that may be for you. You may need to step outside the norm and the mainstream right now and embrace your unique and eclectic beliefs or attitudes. <laughs> I like that. You may need to step outside of the norm and the mainstream right now and embrace your unique and eclectic beliefs or attitudes. It's also a good moment to be generous with your time, attention, and gifts. This, in quotes, tithing, the word tithing is in quotes, is returned by the universe many fold to you. Look at that, my darlings. I, I, I didn't write in the book, so... I don't think I've ever read this card personally by my own self. But look at that. We were just saying, you get, you know, we get what we get. We put it out there, especially the water signs. But this is for everyone. Just open your mind and receive from spirit. But we're born to do this, Pisces. Oh, I got to read that again. It's also a good moment to be generous with your time and attention. That's why you take that half hour, an hour a day if you can, and talk to spirit. Okay. You, you just turn technology off. And then you say, I'm going to talk to the higher will. And, and if you want to have a little journal or if you receive and you can recall, it's more fabulous. It's all fabulous. This tithing of time, okay, let's say like that. You're, you're taking time to talk to the invisible intelligence is returned by the universe many fold to you. It's delicious. Delicious. And an Archangel Gabriel was the Archangel that came to Mother Mary to let her know that Jesus was coming, that she was going to bring forth the Son of God. Additional meaning of this card. Epiphanies. 
selflessness, unexpected life changes, the need for patience. See, that's what I'm saying. Baby steps. Take baby steps. Nothing, nothing fast. I don't think Pisces do that anyway, anyway. The power that lies in being oneself. Believe in you, my darlings. Love you first. Unusual solutions. Especially when it comes from Dubai. <laughs> Things happen that you we can't make it up. We can't script it. We can't script it. Archangel Gabriel is the angel who helps people become divine messengers of love. When you speak and think and act from a place of love, Others are irresistibly drawn to you. Look at that, my darling. Divine messengers of love. So let's think like that, our Pisces friends. Let's think about that. We are divine messengers of love. Just like Archangel Gabriel came through to, to little Mary. Okay? With love to say, you're going to bring forth a king of love. Ah. Beautiful. Okay. And enjoy time alone. All right. Enjoy time alone. Okay. You know what? It talks about successful self-employment. So let's let's read this right now because all these have been so wonderful. And let's ground on mother too. That's been we've been talking about that. Get outside. Get outside. You know, ground the mother. Take those walk by the beach or you know water river whatever you can do but let's see because now we are we we need to go into introspection my darlings okay introspect and believe in you and the universe will return and the gates are open right now open and for us pisces with neptune until 2025 we're we're very open nine of earth your self-reliance, wisdom, and restraint have paid off. You've done excellent work and prepared for this time in your life. This has provided you with the opportunity to take it easy and enjoy some luxuries. You value your own company. You find peace and contentment in your quiet alone time. Okay, that's, that's when you go in to introspect the secretive occult, you know, you know. And I don't mean a cult like it's all negative. I'm not talking about, you know, negative stuff, Illuminati crap. I'm talking about the divine flow. You're pursuing deeper meaning in life, so you retreat inward for inspiration. See, that's what we do. Insp let the universe inspire us, okay? But we have to do it alone. We have to do it in introspection. You know, you can't have people around you. You can't have TVs going, something cooking. You, it's it's your time alone, and and not not in the dream world. This is like your. It's like you know saying I'm going to sacrifice this hour a day to top spirit, and it's really not a sacrifice because then they deliver all that you you came here for a reason at this time. Okay, you weren't aware of when you were going to come through, but. You can be aware of how you're going to go out. Additional meanings of this card. Successful self-employment. Unexpected financial windfalls. The appreciation of nature and animals. Home improvement and redecorating. <laughs> okay. She likes to redecorate. How wonderful. Ah. Well, you know what, Archangel Michael, I, I'm going to read everything he says for all the signs. So this is your life purpose, my darlings. This is your life purpose. And honestly, I guess YouTube as well, you know, I have to say spirituality is my life purpose. Even though if you're new to me or you've been watching me, I didn't want to do it. I mean, I was just doing it on my own, you know. But you see, I... It comes through when they, they never force you, they suggest to you, okay? So even when you start meditating now and writing in your journals, remember this is, they're not forcing you to do anything, but they encourage you to align so that when you pass, you go automatically up into the white light, white light. Not like these government people. <laughs> it's a joke. That's a joke. 
you know, I'm not political people and I'm just I'm so demise on who's running here, but that's okay. I still believe something supernatural is going to happen. Wake them all up. Like Jesus did. This is your life's purpose. Archangel Michael has heard your prayers and he's guiding you in the direction in which you were born to go. You already have ideas about a career that would bring you joy, excitement, opportunities to help, and financial security. And these thoughts are indicators of your divine purpose. You're meant to be engaged in work that brings you and others happiness, exclamation mark. This card is validation that the career you're dreaming about is your life's purpose. As such, the universe will support and open doors for you. Move forward confidently. Possible spe specific meanings. Your current situation offers clues about the next step to take on your path. Follow your true feelings. Angels are watching over your business and finances. Again, the prayer. Archangel Michael, you know the details of my divine life purpose, and I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide my actions so that I'm taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career. I think it's fabulous, and I have to say for the Scorpio friends, too, you know, it was coming out that follow your life purpose, you know. Again, Scorpio is very psychic as well, yet, you know, they have, uh, with Trump card, death card, you know, they also have uh, hidden agendas, and they have to go into introspection just like we do, you know, just like Cancer will, with the moon as who rules. It's all about introspection. It's all about having like a secretive side, but to create the realities for many, okay? It's not about being secret shady. It's about being secretive so that others, you know, the shady ones won't say, what are you doing? What, what are you crazy? You know what I mean? You know, so just believe in you, my darlings. How wonderful. Your life purpose is to be psychically aware, my darlings. So believe in yourselves, okay? You know I love you. I love my Pisces. Yes, I do. Take care. Ciao.